2020 has been a crazy year. However, to end off the year with at least a good note going into 2021, I wanted to do a video commemorating Bakugan Armored Alliance. So, what better a video to do than my 5 favorite Armored Alliance Bakugan? I was going to do 10, but it just became really hard to choose, so I figured that it would be better to do a smaller amount of Bakugan, but be able to talk about them for a longer period of time and explain my reasoning within this video. To follow this video up, on January 1st, 2021, also known as tomorrow, I'll be doing a video discussing some of the things that I'm most looking forward to with Season 3 of Bakugan Geogon Rising. I've collected a lot of Bakugan this year, definitely not as many as I collected for Battle Planet. However, there have been a lot of really fantastic designs to be released. Of course, the engineers and the testers and designers over at Spin Master have done a fantastic job with these designs, so I wanted to share my personal favorites. There are a couple of rules though. Firstly, faction, color, and importance to the TCG does not matter. I'll be solely looking at the design itself. So stuff like diamonds won't influence the decision. And of course, being viable in the TCG is not gonna influence this decision either. I'm purely going to look at this from an aesthetic perspective and how much I like certain designs among other ones. Once you guys finish watching this video and hearing my explanations behind my top five favorites, feel free to share yours in the comments below. I will actually be doing a couple of honorable mentions later on as well that I just couldn't make onto the top five list. However, I'm sure that some of these will be relatable amongst other people, and for other people, they might have totally different lists. And that's fine, because we're all different people with different preferences, and when it comes to Bakugan, we like different things. So I really do want to hear your opinions on your favorite Bakugan from this year down in the comment section below. The final rule for this video is that I will only be covering Bakugan that released under Bakugan Armored Alliance. There have been a ton of other Bakugan that I reviewed this year that are not from Armored Alliance. There have been a couple from Battle Planet, and more recently, a bunch of them from Geogon Rising. Even though I reviewed these Bakugan in 2020, and even though some of the Geogon Rising stuff has started releasing in 2020, I will only be looking at Armored Alliance toys. So without further ado, in order to commemorate the new year of 2021 and Bakugan Armored Alliance in 2020, let's begin this top 5 list. And in 5th place, we have Nilius Core from Armored Alliance. This Bakugan is basically the perfection version of Nilius. It's just absolutely amazing. Despite being a core, you've got some really intense details, especially on the face, the arms, and the legs. The wings look amazing, especially when you compare it to the Battle Planet version of Nilius. And it's really, really a simple Bakugan at its core, but it is just, it's so perfect as Nilius. Just the design overall is really, really beautiful. And you only have one manual part, which is the, uh, the legs, which kind of fold out from underneath. They're actually linked up together, so if you just pull on one leg and fold it down, the other will come down with it. It looks amazing. As you can see, I have the Pyrus, Darkest, and then the Special Brawler Pack, Darkest version, and they all honestly all look fantastic. I absolutely love this core design, and especially since Nilius in year three is gonna have three heads, this is easily the best two-headed Nilius. Honestly, it's a little bit better than either of the Nilius Ultras, in my opinion, and it just looks absolutely fantastic as a design. In the number four spot, we have Armored Alliance Dragonite Ultra. Just like the Nilius that we took a look at just a second ago, this is basically a perfect Dragonoid. You know, the Dragonoid Ultras in Battle Planet had a lot of hype behind them, and I was also on that hype train. But honestly, when you compare the Armored Alliance one here to the Battle Planet version, it's really night and day. Firstly, the ball form is a lot smoother, the transformation is even cooler as well, and the proportions are amazing. You do have a couple manual parts, being the feet, the horns, the arms, and the wings, but really you can leave all of them in except for the horn, and it'll still look like Dragonoid. You know, the wings just kind of expand a bit, the arms actually have posability, and the feet kind of the same thing as well. And overall, this Bakugan is just, it's beautiful looking. It's an amazing version of Dragonoid, and everyone set really high expectations for it just because it looked so good and i feel like the reason it's not higher on the list and the reason i don't like it more is simply because it fulfilled all of my expectations when i initially got it and it's just it looks really fantastic as you can see here i have the pyrus the orlis and the diamond versions and it really just looks amazing 
Another thing that I was actually really lucky to get was actually the limited edition Armored Alliance version of this Dragonoid, and I was it was so kind that Spin Master actually sent this over to me. It looks absolutely beautiful. You can see it comes in this black case, and uh, it just looks fantastic. You have this piece that slides off the middle, and then you flip it up to reveal these special promo cards along with the Dragonoid itself. The Dragonoid is super cool looking. It comes in this kind of uh, translucent orange with this metallic red and metallic green paint on it. It really does look fantastic. And uh, I just wanted to show this here because it's actually been a really long time since I've uh, shown this on my channel. I'm pretty sure I did a video on this in like February and that was the last uh, time I've actually shown this limited edition. You can see here all of the versions of Dragonoid that I have uh, just together, but I'm pretty sure that this guy has actually been released in every single faction, which is definitely very impressive. Of course, it is Dragonoid, and it's honestly just a fantastic design that definitely made its way onto this list. Number three spot, we have a recent addition to my collection and a recent release in the Bakugan line, Feral X Gilator Ultra. And, oh my goodness, this... This Bakugan is absolutely, like, it's breathtakingly beautiful. I'm a huge fan of ancient Egyptian mythology. You guys already know Feral is one of my favorite Bakugan. And to get basically an ultra version of it is just amazing. And sure, it's fused with Gilator technically, but other than the blue on the legs and the blue on the tail, you can't really tell. And this Bakugan has been released in a couple of other factions as well. It's been released in Oralis Ventus, Oralis Pyrus, Oralis Aquos here, and then Oralis Chaos. And for all versions of it, it just has a slight hint of that other faction. The main Bakugan is Oralis, and it definitely does look like Feral Ultra. The design itself is amazing. I love the sculpting on the head. The actual stature of the Bakugan is great. And one thing which surprised me is the fact that it actually kind of picks up the Baku core on the kind of uh, top part of the tail, I guess, kind of between the wings, which really surprised me. I thought that it would be either picking it up on the end of the tail or on the head. And I definitely think that it looks amazing. Overall, this Bakugan is one which initially I was excited for. I didn't really have too much hype for it though. But then once I just took it out of that packaging, I was absolutely blown away by it. And again, I said how the Dragonoid, I had a lot of expectations for it, and it met my expectations to a point. But with Feral Gilator here, it really just blasted through all the expectations I had and just made me love the Bakugan even more. And the number two spot on the list is going to none other than Enoch Ultra. And let me just make something clear. I do think that Feral Exkilator is the best Ultra design from Bakugan Armored Alliance. But you might be wondering, well, if that's, if that's my opinion, then why is Enoch number two? And the reason for that is simply because it's a Bakugan that I kind of have a small amount of history with. I first saw it at the Bakugan Invitational in full, and I absolutely fell in love with the design there. And I wanted it for such a long time until I finally was able to get one in February of this year when I was actually on vacation and I found one at a Target. And since then, I've reviewed it three more times. And in fact, I've reviewed it in Darkest three times. I reviewed the Darkest one that I initially got with the Baku gear. I reviewed it again in the Shields of Astroia starter deck. And then once more in the Diamond form. And heck, just a couple days ago, I reviewed the Chaos one in one of the Baku gear battle packs. And this is a design which... I wanted with such a passion when I first saw it. I was absolutely obsessed with it. It was the it was my most wanted design after the Invitational ended. It was the one that I wanted the most. I was absolutely in love with it, and it still is a design that I love to this day. It's just such an amazing Ultra. I love the detailing. It's so menacing. It's so cool. I think I made like at least like four or five Instagram posts of just photos of Enoch like during the spring uh, just because I was so obsessed with this Bakugan that no matter what new Bakugan I opened I kept coming back to this one to take more photos. Overall it's an amazing design I'm so glad to have it and uh, I hope to get more variants of it in the future. The one that I really want is actually the Chaos Translucent because it looks fantastic but until then I have the standard Chaos and I also have the Diamond version. Overall though this Bakugan looks fantastic and it definitely makes it to the number two spot purely on kind of its attachment to me. Before we go on to the number one pick that I have for this list, let's take a look at a couple honorable mentions. Firstly, we have Dragonoid Treteris, Hyderus Batrix, and Cyrus Ultra. All three of these are designs that I really liked, that I've taken a look at somewhat recently, but they just can't really top the other ones when it comes to either just how good of a design it is, or just my its emotional attachment to me. 
for Drago Tret, I absolutely love the fact that he kind of looks like Leonidas, and it's really menacing, and at the same time, I also think that it's the best Dragonoid core design that's actually come out of the Bakugan reboot. I'm not the biggest fan of the standard Dragonoid uh, core for Armored Alliance. This version looks absolutely fantastic, and again, it does look like Leonidas a bit, which I do like. Next up, we have Hydra's Batrix, and the reason I really like Hydra's Batrix is because it's so dynamic. You have elements of both Hydra's and Batrix mixed into it, and I think that it looks really, really fantastic all together. As you can see here, I have the Auralis Aquos and then the Aquos Darkest, and they both look fantastic. Personally, though, I prefer the Aquos Darkest to the Auralis Aquos, but again, just the design in general is so dynamic and just so cool looking. It really reminds me of something that would be in like Gundalian Invaders or Bakutech, and I really do like that. And finally, for the honorable mentions, we have Cyrus Ultra. This guy actually released in Wave 2, but I didn't pick it up until the summer, and I actually finally reviewed it in early September. And this is the only version that I have of Cyrus, just the translucent uh, darkest version. But I'm a sucker for weird designs, and this design is really weird. It's got some awkward proportions, this giant tail and these giant wings, but I really do like it for some reason. Anyway though, those are my honorable mentions. Let's move on to the top pick of my favorite Bakugan. And without further ado, my favorite Bakugan of Armored Alliance is none other than Feral Core. Now, don't get me wrong, I do think that Feral Gilator is still a better design than this. Of course it is, because Feral Gilator is basically an ultra version of this. However, Feral Core is just really special to me for a couple of reasons, and I've actually scripted basically the rest of the video, but for this part, I purposely didn't want to script it, I just wanted to speak from the heart because this is a Bakugan that I've basically loved since I first saw it. And the thing about it is that when I collected Battle Planet, there was never a single Bakugan that really like stuck with me throughout the entire duration of that series. Like, at first, my favorite core Bakugan was Hydrus, then it was, I think... Uh, what was it? I don't even know what it was next after Hydrus. I think it was like Cyndius, and then it became like Hydronoid. And the same sort of thing happened with the Ultra Bakugan from Battle Planet. And the reason that this is important is because since the first time that I saw Feral, I immediately loved the design. And once I finally got one in early January off of Walmart, I got the core Oralist version, and I would later get the Darkest the Ventus, and even the Diamond versions, and by the way, the Diamond version looks absolutely fantastic. I would get those in other packs later down the line. This design is just so incredible, and of course, we didn't really know about Feral Exkilator at the time, and again, I love Ancient Egyptian Mythology. This is an amazing Bakugan. It's been my Instagram profile pick for who knows how long. Like, back in 2019, I changed my Instagram profile pick really often. I think I changed it, like, once every, like, two weeks or something. But I've actually had Feral as my Instagram profile picture for such a long time. I don't even know when I first said it. And honestly, I'm fine with that because it's an amazing Bakugan. And I've absolutely fallen in love with this Bakugan. I'll never get tired of closing it up. My Oralist version, unfortunately, has some uh, bad springs. So sometimes it just pops open randomly. So I have to close it. But it's just a fantastic Bakugan. I've absolutely fallen in love with it again. It's really amazing. As you can see here, I actually got this really cool DECA version at the Invitational, and that was basically the first time that I actually got Feral, since uh, I didn't actually get a Feral at the Invitational, like, you know, the standard core version. So the first time that I actually got one was this uh, Oralist version here. And, uh, like, again, I, I didn't want to script this, so I apologize for all the, the breaks that I'm taking, but this Bakugan is just really important to me. And I'm sure that it'll only get more important as it, the series goes on. I'm really hoping that Feral makes a return in Geogon Rising. We haven't seen anything about him yet on the checklist, but you never know. He might make a return later on in the series, and I would definitely love to see that. This Bakugan is absolutely amazing. I love how it looks. I love how it opens. I love the name, you know, Feral. Sounds like Pharaoh, and of course it's a Sphinx Bakugan. It looks fantastic. Again, uh, just this Bakugan is basically what popped into my head every time I considered doing a ranking list. You know... Over the last day, I made that, those posts on my various social medias, links down below by the way, you know, Instagram, Twitter, and then of course YouTube here, where I asked people if they thought that doing a kind of 2020 Bakugan design retrospective would be a cool idea, and the majority of people thought, yes, that's a great idea. And every time I thought about how I was going to structure this video and how I was going to make this list, the first Bakugan that popped into my head was Feral Core, and I think that was for a reason. 
Again, I still think that it's an inferior design to a couple of the other designs on this list, but just in terms of the Bakugan itself and what it means to me and how much I love this design, it really deserves to be number one for my favorite Bakugan from Armored Alliance. So everyone, those are my five favorite Bakugan from Bakugan Armored Alliance 2020, and I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section. Of course, not everyone's gonna agree on their favorites because it's totally subjective, so for that reason, I'd love to hear if you agree with me on these or if you like some other Bakugan. Maybe you still like the same five as your favorites, but you just have them in a different order, or maybe you like a completely different five Bakugan. Maybe you have ten Bakugan, or maybe even just a single Bakugan that you like among all others. I'd love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment down below, and it's 2020 coming to a close, so be sure to just like the video because it helps support me and my channel so that I can do more awesome videos like this one. Anyway though guys, have a happy new year, I'm The Detective, and I'll see you in 2021.